किसी ने बताया ट्रिब्यूट्स मेरा भी है उसमें आका शाहिद अली के लिए मैं लिखा था उनके बाबा ने बनाया पहली बरसी पे मैं प्रोग्राम किया था ना शायद आपने आए देखने कितना स्वीट है नेहरू के साथ बचपन उसकी ये उसके बाबा ने बनाई है बाबा वॉज द मैन सेंट बाई नेहरू टू अमेरिका फर्स्ट कश्मीरी टू मॉडर्नाइज कश्मीर अभी देखो क्या हुआ कश्मीरी कितना मॉडर्न बन गया मेरी बोल तो है ही नहीं चलो चलेगा कैसी है आसमा क्यों इतनी सेमी सेमी डरी डरी दिखती है कुछ चोरी करेगा क्या नहीं इतना सब कौन खाएगा अभी बाद में खाएंगे घर ले जाओगे नाश्ता तो सैंडविच खा ले मेरे नाटक कला में हो रहा है कहा दिखाएंगे ब्यूटिफुल एंड यंग All these people weren't even born they tell me. Just see <laughs> what cat it is. It is indeed a great pleasure because I am celebrating uh, the work of two of my very dear friends and uh, creative writers. This is a wonderful confluence that has brought together a very powerful <laughs> poet Jamila Nishat who is not only a poet. She writes in different genres. and of course one of the most powerful poets of our generation today professor hoshang merchant did you check your mail today no shall we check this now let's check you can't check yourself no i don't know how mm. they are saying that mccain can't be president because he doesn't know how to operate the email obama is 23 years younger how many is 32 years younger hi This is Soumya. I'm no, gifts, you I'm giving, uh, I'm giving them gifts, but only afterwards. If they laugh at me, no gifts. Tell them. Really? That is really nice. I'm such a Parsi booty, no. <laughs> Nobody wants my kachra. Give it to them as a gift. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you will give her tea. Yeah, yeah. you have. Okay. I have a poem called I am Tammuz at Power Ferry and the Gay Johns of Hyderabad's public gardens. I set the scene. Water flowed at toilet then suddenly lights off. The heaven haven of lovers at pickpockets. Romance ne never deserts me even in danger. You know even when a pickpocket is coming to pick my pocket, I think he's coming to have sex with me. That's how mad I am. <laughs> But I get a good poem at the end of it. I never carry anything. I'm too wise now. I just carry my ten rupee fare on the bus. I used to now. I can't even cruise. Too old. Shit. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Fly me to the moon to Uranus. Anywhere but this earth. Life is elsewhere. You know. Uranus. Uranus. What's the place a gay would rather be? Your anus, indeed.
Life is love for the elite and food bought from theft for the Dalit lover of the moment. But I gloss over the class divide. You know, these people have to cruise to make a living. Because if they don't steal, the people they are cruising from, they don't eat that night. See, we rich people, we just go for cakes. And one of the people came to me and said, look, you can go elsewhere. Please don't steal my trade. Because I have to go to bed hungry. I felt ashamed of myself. I stopped going there. But I gloss over the class divide, which can never be breached by the poetry of forgiveness and self-forgiveness. Everybody wants to eat my body. Everybody wants to drink my soul. Everyone is hungry for a body. Everyone is thirsty for a soul. My brother writes poetry. He writes about the pain of being himself. I live in America, the land of the common man and of common sense. My brother is not common. Uh, I do this She is Saraswati. Hi. Hi. She's an old snooper. She snoops on everybody with a camera. If you go to the bathroom, she'll start rolling. She has That's no unfair. ethics, no morality. That's uh, nothing. She made one on a dry tap called dry tap. Okay. She made one on wastage of water, overflowing tap. <laughs> and now she's making on a gay buddhi called Musa. <laughs> Musa Masluda. <laughs> He's in love with me. So. No, no. I didn't know <laughs> no. You don't know, but your father was in love with me. You don't know. Okay. Maybe he still is. Okay. At two, he broke father's commandment. Thou shalt not eat cookies in bed. When the commandment giver got home, half-inch long fire ants had made a nest among the crumbs in the bed sheets. In a rage at being disobeyed, he stripped my brother naked and planted him on top of that writhing mass. I did not look at or speak to my father for three whole days. I can't find the right tone in which to speak of him. He was sentimental but hated displays of emotion unless they were negative. One could yell and beat up taxi drivers who cut into his lane in the traffic, but one could not show the slightest affection in public or private. <laughs> well, my father never thought he was doing anything wrong. I mean, he was a wealthy man in a poor country, and he never paid his taxes. And I would say, I didn't steal from these people to get rich, and I would say, but dad, you did. Shut up! <laughs> I mean, I'm an Indian son, what can I say? You become too American. Just hush. I wish I hadn't sent you to Purdue. <laughs> I was a petty bitch from Purdue, right? <laughs> Who sent me there, right?
had started the Gay Liberation at Padu. We all got together. We were tired of being beaten up, all the gays. So we all got together and made the town very scared. We used to walk down the street screaming faggot, faggot at death. <laughs> Some people used to applaud us from the sidelines. Some important man. I think he hated being gay, so he beat me up. After he slept with me, he beat me up. He couldn't have an orgasm. He was impotent. Maybe that was his orgasm, beating up people. What made you leave America? Well, what would you do if you were beaten up? Yeah. What happened after that? I was kicked out of college for starting the liberation. So I came back to my country. I had a country to go to. I wasn't a beggar. What Anand misses is the homosexual underground culture of 1940s Bombay in its theater and art circles. You see many homosexuals used to gravitate to the arts because there they could be in an in-group, you see, and come out to each other in that in-group and then have the mask of art or of drama or theater or whatever, where they can play roles or say things in painting or drawing or as I do in poetry. You know, poetry is not like... Um, open telling, it's like oblique telling, you know, through metaphor or through indirection and that way I can hide and come out at the same time, you see. My student S. Anand has written, come in, come in, if you belong to this class, if you don't, don't. People just come to look, curiosity. What does he look like? Um, to find a gay lecturer in India, I didn't even expect it, but uh, you know, it was nice to see that there is some understanding, at least in the academia, um, academic uh, society, uh, for you know, to speak out and discuss these things. Because in South Dakota, in the Midwest, uh, a gay professor would not come out and say, I am gay or my friends who are gay, I know in fact they are, wouldn't come out and say they're gay because there's a stigma attached to it and nobody wants to see, you know, it's all about masculinity, cowboy masculinity and like uh, being a man, you know, gay is something that's, it's, you know, they call them queers and it's not something that you talk about out, out in the open. In my almost say, more than seven years of, uh, uh, you know, life in, the, in Indian universities, I've not seen somebody, two people who are gay couple, no. I've been in, I mean, JNU for a short while, HCU and CFIL for quite a long time, no. No, I'm also looking at the acceptance level. That acceptance level for a gay couple or a person who's gay, who declares himself to be gay, is almost next to zero. It is something to be read about. It is something to be, you know, uh, analysed. It's not something to be lived, at least, as it is portrayed now. Then how is uh, Hoshang managing? Ma Hoshang is managing because he is managing uh, his, uh, uh, his cultural capital and his personal aura along those lines. That's exactly what, I mean, as he's saying, a big time guy. You know, somebody who who's has huge, you know, company's chairman, a huge MNC chairman, might might want to actually say that. I mean, they don't as yet, but uh, they can actually come off with with, with that kind of thing because you know they're they, and the kind of the societies that they, uh, you know, the page three culture. I mean, you know, Hyderabad newspapers might have uh, you know page three page can have things about case, and people don't mind, you know. The page three stuff doesn't, doesn't really bother, but beyond that, the, the editorial page issues or the front page, gay activism and gay issues, in the coarseness of it, in the cruelty of it, 
and the sadness of it i don't i don't think that has been the exoticism of it this is a different kind of exoticism you know if orient was exotic women was exotic now there's a new new exotic element dean school of humanities uh oh बॉयज You think I'll talk to him if he had a ugly face? Of course not. <laughs> I am an aesthetic person. I only look for beauty. Have you ever seen me with ugly people? Never. And never old people also. Young and beautiful only. Yes. <laughs> so does he bother you, Praveen? Yes. No. In the beginning, he was very afraid of me. He comes from a village. Then he saw that this barking dog doesn't bite. His teacher Tutun likes me, no? so Tutun must have said. Tutun always says, "Come here. This man is a very big translator. He knows seventeen languages like that." You know, seventeen, <laughs> and then she brings it me. <laughs> you should have seen Jamila's thing. How she praised me, no, Tutun. Jamila and Hoshang collaborated. in producing their first uh, book of poems lava so that was the first eruption as it were uh, from uh, jamila's creativity handled with a poetic sensitivity of hoshang merchant that was a wonderful first book and it just set the tone and the stage for the second book that has followed one dare not translate unless one has that poetic sensibility which hoshang merchant has the red of my palms wasn't henna but blood one cry from my heart burned this earth to cinders you smoldered i turned air and flowed away your way what did i know which way the dew on my grass shone by your sight becoming a rainbow by light becoming honey at night was it a dream behind my eyes or a mirage made of sighs All I did was ponder this. I want nowhere, neither here nor there. The one my sight searches, what do I know where she is? Come, let us break all riddles. Let us make a new world and search out new roads, new dreams, new loves, new feelings. All of us queens and fairies, all stories, love stories. Father's outburst of violence against my mother could be provoked by nothing at all. In her turn, she vented her anger and frustration on us. My parents quarreled every day about everything. The most innocuous comment, the slightest gesture could blow up into a major battle with enough blood and gore to warrant medical attention. I have seen my parents fight over which child should be sent to take a bath first. I have seen them draw blood over the selection of a pair of shoes. I have observed a festive meal It started with blazing chandeliers and walls and with rice on the floors and plates scattered in countless fragments. मेरे साथ एक प्रोफेसर सिराजुद्दीन थे जो इंग्लिश के प्रोफेसर थे हम दोनों बच्चे को लेके वॉक कर रहे थे तो वहाँ पर रास्ते में होशन मिला 
उसी दिन होशन की नज़म उर्दू में सियासत में ट्रांसलेट होकर चली थी मैं काफ़ी क्योंकि शायर है तो एक शायर से दूसरे शायर को मिलने की बड़ी ख्वाहिश होती और उसी दिन मैं नज़म पढ़ी थी तो मुझे और भी ज़्यादा अरे होशन आज ही मैं इसके पेपर में पढ़ी तो हम लोग बात करने लगे तो सीक्रेटली मेरे प्रोफेसर ने कहा ये पैसिव के है जमीला ठीक है बोल के बातचीत कर लेके हम लोग वापस चले गए अपनी जगह वो अपने कमरे में चले गए लेकिन मैं उसको छोड़ी नहीं क्योंकि मैं चाह रही थी कि होशन से मैं दोस्ती का मुझे पता बता दिया गया कि वो पैसिव गे है लेकिन मेरी दोस्ती का फ़र्क में कोई फ़र्क नहीं आया मैं उसके घर गई फिर मिली फिर उसके पोएम से मिली होशन को भी समझ में नहीं आया कि आखिर ये क्यों दिलचस्पी ले रही है इतनी लेकिन जो होशन का एक्सपीरियंस है जो उसकी पूरी दुनिया की सैर कर के आया था वो और ऐसे वक्त वो ईरान में था जब वहाँ पर रेवल्यूशन चल रहा और ये अपनी दुनिया में बिजी है वो कहाँ कहाँ हर जगह जहाँ पॉलिटिकली डिस्टर्ब एरिया है ये अपने काम में मसरूफ़ रहा तो वो मेरे लिए बहुत अच्छा लगा कि एक इंसान इतना लाइफली कैसे हो सकता है जहाँ खून बह रहा है और आप अपने सेक्चुअलिटी के बारे में सोच रहे हैं ये बहुत बड़ी बात है एक इंसान सिर्फ अपनी इतनी हद तक अपने बारे में सोचना बहुत मुश्किल काम है मेरे लिहाज से And the revolutionaries had come, and the Shah's army was protecting the embassy. And I quickly went out of the British Council to go home, and I saw this man pick up a stone, beautiful great arm, and it was shot off right in front of me. And then I hid in a carpet shop. He was an Armenian boy who was my friend. And then they came. More people came to hide in the carpet shop. And he was afraid his carpets would get dirty. He shut the shutters, and he told me to go into the back room. And I hid there. And my friend told me to go home. That it was dangerous for me to stay there. Why? I didn't have a visa. These were the last days. I didn't have a job. Always carried a passport and a ticket too. Bombay in my pocket. I had made friends with a Afghan boy who had run away from the revolution and was selling soap on the streets. He was sheltered by the Afghan people in the area now. Airlines offers. I used to see him there, and once we went to Hamam, but they wouldn't let us go together to the Hamam. So we had to make love in the area in our office, and I bought soap from him. The revolution was now eating away at the nation's borders, and the enemy was getting ideas and eye poems. So I, like some Alexander, crossed Hamadan and back into the heart of Tehran, where my lover and I were bored no more, looking up into the sky to see dead flowers light up the night. We clutched tight. Morning, we spit into the sun's face or a devil's on the front page. Night again, we scream for the curfew and the power cuts, a curse the harvest serves. In an occupied city, Picasso shut a window and painted it. Liberation hung out a tricolor. I, under six blankets of wrappings, was brought soup by Cinderella, who at three days' end shouted down the stairwell, "Emerge! The revolution's won." So, hanging out a particolored quilt as homage to the 20th century, I emerged into the 21st. We dead kings are reborn as poets. Were you a declared gay? Yes, I'm a declared gay everywhere. I'd lost all my jobs for being gay. And then I slept with all my students, and that set other students on me as spies. That set uh, chai walas on me as spies, the peons. In Iran? Yes, but when I asked for my full salary for the year's salary. They were benign, and they gave me my year's salary because I had a year's contract. Were the people who beat you up? No, the Iranians are very kind. The Iranians don't. They steal because they're poor. But at the office, there were these class of gays who would work as spies and out other gays who were already out to hide themselves. And it had become very dangerous after how many came to be a gay teacher. So I had to leave. मतलब की दुनिया है सारी बिछ
बिछड़े सभी बिछड़े सभी बारी बारी <laughs> <laughs> वन ऑफ दी थिंग्स दैट पीपल डोंट लाइक अबाउट होशांग इज दैट समटाइम्स ही यू नो स्पीक्स वट एवर that comes to his mind he never you know thinks about what would people think if he says this or that you know, that kind of that's why i said he is not at all hypocritical that is the one best quality i find in him he, he will say whatever that comes to his mind to me it doesn't uh, matter what language he uses and he uses because you know he has some kind of uh, anger against some people you know that comes through his language that must be uh, result of some you know uh, bad things happening to him in retrospect none of us deserved physical punishment we were being punished at home simply for being children dumping clothes inside out in the wash basket leaving a toothbrush on the sink instead of in its holder losing a pen or a color box at school any of these could occasion a caning my brother was constantly harshly beaten for teasing or beating one of his sisters we used to play with this flower when we were children and i looked for it in the whole of america for 20 years and i didn't find it then finally i found it in jerusalem love 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 how can i leave it alone to remember is to open a wound to leave it is to open a wound fay rules i'm the bleeding wound israel lay siege again to the bow fort of my heart i surrender that everyone is meant for martyrdom how was it for me the usual story i was young the men were better the stakes were higher I could have gone to an Israeli jail for working with the Palestinians without a visa. I could have been killed either by the Palestinians for signing a letter against them that the Jews sold me. I could have been killed by the Jews. So did you have any Palestinian boyfriends? Of course I had Palestinian boyfriends, plenty of them. And? They're all gay. And they're all saying we are not gay. And the Israelis? Yeah, the Israelis were free. The gays go to the army in Israel, as I told you. Israel will use everybody for their cause, gay, straight, in between. Everyone is welcome to be killed in the cause of Israel. Fano explains that the violence born out of the condition of being oppressed is only a reflection of the oppressor's violence. and this kind of violence can heal the wounds it inflicted see a person who's brutalized will lo- learn brutality when i was in palestine and i saw the jews you know who were in the um, concentration camps of hitler you know i asked this lady who was my boss the sarab lady how can they do this and you know i was innocent like you i didn't know what happens to people and uh, she said see the jews who made israel have learned brutality of the nazis because they were in the nazi jails 
It's not that you will learn sweetness and light like Gandhi and Jesus Christ. It is human to learn brutality. A child that has been brutalized will become brutal. That's why we have these disintegrating families in the poor white ghettos and the poor black ghettos, you see, because these children don't know anything else. Where will they learn kindness from? They've never been shown kindness in their life. Watching our parents' destructive behavior has also made it difficult for us to deal with our own angers. We tend to turn them against ourselves. Anger makes me shed pounds faster than starvation. My brother routinely puts himself in incredible physical danger. When were you in Palestine? During the 82 Lebanese war. Why did you go there? To make money. During the Lebanese war, an Israeli queen told me that on the southern border of Lebanon where the Palestinians were, they would be shelling them from tanks in the morning. And in the night, they would cross over to the other side make love to the Palestinians, cross back in the morning and kill them. And the Israelis say that's a story, but I don't think that's a story. That says something true about friendship and enmity, gay and straight, Israel and Palestine, love and death. I mean, how does it matter? You have to make love. How does it matter whether you are being made love to by your enemy or not? If you're dying tomorrow morning, and if the enemy gets screwed in the night, and if he kills you in the morning, all the better for you. I tell you, she's a pervert and a voyeur. <laughs> she yeah. starts rolling her camera, then asks all personal questions, and then she says, Hoshang makes us lose our inhibition. <laughs> it's always mine. As if it's big news. As if <laughs> it's such a big news. Do you think you're worth being in such a... Uh... <laughs> Documentary? Do you? Ask a filmmaker. No, I'm asking about you. Why ask a film filmmaker? What don't you? Darling, I'm the future of India. <laughs> With one billion people, they yes. need more gays. You need. <laughs> you know that is exactly okay. Why I love Seven this film. To carry that attitude is not so easy. Sheridan's father likes my beard. He actually phoned me to tell me that. But my phone is not working, haha. -ha. What narcissism to talk about oneself all the time. In one in the same breath, he combines narcissism and irony in the same person. You know. There is this um, whole dramatization of self-love and at the same time he mocks himself you know, for being that. You know. So, he's conscious of his, of the persona he assumes. That's what I think makes him a performer you know, in some sense. You know. My brother is an extremely fine mimic. However, it was not mere mockery or play acting. He became the half-potted spinster, denigrating all men, the big-breasted film star with swishing hips and provocative smile. When he entered an all-boys school, his soft features, fair hair and frail body earned him all the female roles. My brother does not act in plays any longer. He merely lives out his life as if he were on stage. This boy is in love with me. Yeah? You can tell from his face, no? Yeah, that's nice. But he's nice. useless. He's a heterosexual. He's heterosexual. He, but he still loves you, so it's okay. He's not a boy. He's 32 years old. Uh, he pretends to be young. Yeah, very old. He's older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> 26. 26. Two years older than me. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Shall we go to the next poem? Go to the next poem, I guess, yeah, since we sort of got distracted. Do you want me to read Ancestors? Ancestors. Ancestors. They came from the mountains. Are you getting my voice? Yeah. I don't Maybe you can sit in the Here, come a little closer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not gets two bugs in a rug. Apko kaise lagte hain? Sir, ha. Aap smart aur bindas lagte hain. 
आपको नहीं लगता ये कुछ गलत कर रहे हैं गलत जैसा कोई चीज होता नहीं है डिपेंड करता हमारी सोच किस चीजों को किस रूप में लेते हैं हम उस सोसाइटी और ये से जुड़े हुए हैं तो सर की बातें गलत लगती है लेकिन समाज में घट रहा है तो गलत कैसे ही एड अल्टरनेट वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट थिंग्स सो ही सॉ थिंग्स डिफरेंटली एंड ही सेंसिटाइज ही स्टूडेंट्स और हीज फ्रेंड्स और हु एवर टू दीज न्यूंस ऑफ डेली लाइफ दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक यू नो दैट makes him attractive to students and friends you know, is it sex is a very complicated thing because you just don't go and have sex like that like we think we are having you know oh i'm in love and i'm going to be a new person with this new friend of mine you bring your whole history which would be painful which could be sad which could be humiliating which you might have forgotten for two generations which then comes out you understand i love talking And so he thinks. Pastor told him not to go near gay people. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> so the pastor saved his soul. I had always been fed with history that has been a doctored history in the sense that all our history is oral. There has there are no written records. So there's chances of getting you know the history getting manipulated halfway through. So the doctored history that I got so far talks nothing of homosexuality as in it might have been there but after Christianity so far that the history that I got to learn was after uh, post Christianity so who she constantly asked me these questions regarding the presence of homosexuality and he even questioned the presence of morung system the yeah, bachelor the dormitory. dormitory in our society and at that time it really did you know trigger in my mind that actually there are possibilities of this the presence of homosexuality in our society as well and of course it's not you know uh it's something that you can't deny actually but it's all about you know suppressions i'm an emotion feel me do not imprison me in lines and words do not cast me in shape or colors i'm an emotion feel me see me but once in your heart's mirror let me touch the frozen tear on the grass's eyelash let the fallen flower remain colorless do not color that let sadness come on soft feet give it no shape and let the pain shriek remain nameless i'm a wave on time's waters i'm a footfall hear me वो चाहे कितने भी बड़ी दाढ़ी रख ले वो अंदर से औरत ही है और औरत से भी ज़्यादा सेंसिटिव है एक औरत की सेंसिटिविटी कम से कम माहौल के हिसाब से बदल सकती है लेकिन मोशन की जो सेंसिटिविटी है वो इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग है कि वो हर चीज़ को अंदर से महसूस करता है वो बाहर से बाहर की दुनिया से उसका कोई मतलब नहीं होता तो हमारा एक अंदरूनी रिश्ता है समझे रूहानी रिश्ता है इसीलिए वो मेरी पोइट्री को समझ सका कई लोग मेरे से बताए कि एक औरत होती तो शायद तुम्हारा पोएम का ट्रांसलेशन अच्छा करती वो तो औरत नहीं है ना जमीला वो कैसे ट्रांसलेट कर सकेगा लेकिन मैं समझती हूँ कभी कभी कि वो औरत नहीं हो कि भाई इतनी अच्छी औरत है कि शायद ही ऐसी कोई औरत हो जो ट्रांसलेट कर सके This is for Kishori Ama Amonkar singing Bhairavi You sang and others felt thirsty all night Dasi teri janam janam ki All the weathers of the heart voiced aquiline nose flashing eyes rustle of rust sari watch discarded and with it all pretension to stand revealed before all a temperament 
throwing away all for audience. At my throat an old scarf for wrapping used love letters. Behind you discipleship and in your eye the reign of God's mercy. The mercy of Ahir Bhairav and outside the hall the dawn. Shall we go? Did you ever think of getting married? Oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. This ring is for all the lovers who come one after the other. This wedding ring. It's given to me by my student. She had an extra one. So the boy, boyfriend's change, but the wedding ring remains the same. I can't have a new ring every time I get a new boyfriend. That's too expensive. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm against gay marriage. It's a bourgeois thing. Why do you think so? It's for people with property, you know. More marriage is for sharing property, inheriting property, bequeathing property. So it it doesn't deal with people who do not have any property. There are lots of kids without property. There are more poor people in the world than rich, I think. No? I've already spent everything except 30,000. Now one student of mine, who is my lover for a long time now, comes and wants 18,000 to do IES. And it is me studying all the time, but I saw him smoking pot here. So I don't know if he's fooling me or not. No, you can do IS and smoke pot. It's not. It's not incompatible. Did you actually realize that you were gay? I realized at eight and I had sex at twelve, but I didn't know the words. How did it happen? How did it happen? This man took me and sodomized me. That's all. 12 years old. So would you say that, uh, was it forced on you or was it like, like you just... Well, I must have attracted him, no? No, but you said you realized it at age. Age, so I must have attracted him also. I must have been attracted to him. I think I wanted a kind father, so I was interested in men who were my father's age. Maybe my father was fighting his own homosexuality. Parents feel incestuous towards the children also. See, I don't know this because I'm not a parent. But a parent told me this, you know. And he said, your parents beat you because you were a seductive child. And they were afraid of being seduced by you. Um, can you talk about the sort of in like section five, today I cracked the code eternity, he stumbled on it the day and then he stumbled over my body. What's the code of eternity? I don't know, I write poems, they come, <laughs> the words come, you Okay, know? yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but, you know, I always hope that my friend is more intelligent than me or my friend will live longer than me or my, I choose young people because I want to be remembered like a, we will remember our parents because we are their children and if we have children, our children will remember us because we are their parents but if you are gay you don't have children then you choose children who will remember you in some way by teaching your poetry or reading your poetry or inspiring you enough to write a poem which other children will read, other people will read, you know in some way, we have, see, we are all afraid of death. We are doing all this just because we want to be remembered. We marry, we fall in love, we become mothers, we become fathers. We become English teachers, we become Indira Gandhi, we become... You know, we just want to be remembered. We don't want to die. That's the main thing. Death is the main thing. And we are all addressing that, that thing. Some are consciously doing it, some are unconsciously doing it, but we are all doing it. Arik Jesma Ghayal, 
عارف روح پیاسی نگاہوں میں الجھن دلوں میں اداسی یہ دنیا ہے یا آل میں بد ہوا سی یہ دنیا اگر مل بھی جائے تو کیا ہے یہ دنیا اگر مل بھی جائے I love this, I love this. This never never land a fantasy. <laughs>